Hey guys, welcome back. So today we're out at the range with a brand new Remington 870. This is a new production firearm, but on it we have some beautiful wood furniture from Wooks. And uh, yeah, this is kind of interesting. I'm kind of curious. I've not fired one of the new 870s until today. And for the first time, I'm checking out the Wooks wood furniture for the 870 shotgun, which you see here, which consists of this buttstock. And then we also have a sling swivel right over here, QD, on the side of the wood stock. And uh, then it has a four end. So you can buy the four end, you can buy the stock, you can buy just a pistol grip for like a shock wave. They make these for uh, different shotguns out there. So you can get them for Mossbergs, you can get them for 870s, shock waves, things like that. So uh, very interesting. Now, we'll talk a little bit about the features of the stock here in a moment, but first let's start off by doing a little shooting with this brand new 870. We have some, I think it's just some Federal number eight bird shot in the shotgun right now. I want to thank our friends over at Federal for supplying the ammunition free of charge to the channel. Love Federal Ammunition, great company, great ammo. Been shooting the stuff since I was a kid. All right, let's shoot uh, that dude right square in the chest. Nice tight little pattern there. Uh-oh. Hmm. Maybe I short stroked it. I uh, like gas guns and inertia shotguns. Maybe that'd be a good future video talking about why I love the Benelli inertia system so much. But let's load the shotgun up, do some more shooting with it and see if I can properly run the action on it. So far, it seems like it's gonna probably work at least better than some of the previous Remington products I played with years ago before the new Remington appeared on the market. A lot of folks ask me, how can I get involved in the firearms business in that particular community? And one of the best ways to do that is to become a gunsmith. Every gunsmith I know is just overbooked with work. It's a very good living. And so if you would like to become a gunsmith, you need to go to a gunsmithing school or become an apprentice for an existing gunsmith. But Modern Gun School is an accredited college that also works with veterans in the GI Bill, where you can go and get a degree from accredited college in gunsmithing and then go out and start your own gunsmithing business, which I think is a really great option. Again, throughout my entire life, gunsmiths have always been able to earn a really good living, assuming they have a really strong work ethic. So please check out Modern Gun School. I do have a link in the video description below. The Remington 870 historically is just an absolute classic pump action shotgun. Now its reputation kind of got destroyed with the last ownership of Remington. That's all been changed. We have new owners and Remington is back. Uh, how these shotguns are going to fare long term is yet to be seen, but I'm glad the 870 is back. I do enjoy the 870 shotgun. My very first 12 gauge was a Remington 870 with oiled wood stocks. Speaking of oiled wood, polymers are really common today, right? Everybody, especially on, on budget guns, you're going to find polymer stocks. You're going to pay a little bit more for wood. It costs more to harvest the wood and to work the wood. So if you get just a bare bones generic shotgun, maybe you want to dress it up a little bit. And that's where these Wooks stocks will come in. But they add some additional functionality to the gun. So if we take a look at the wooden stock back here, and there's different types of stocks and stuff that are available. So I would encourage you to check out their website to see what is available for the shotgun you want to upgrade a little bit. But if you start off back here, we have a nice soft recoil pad, nice rise in the comb here, comes up nicely to meet your face, works really good with the front bead on the shotgun. Have some texturing here. Over on this side, we do have that QD mount for a sling. Now, this is only present on the left-hand side of the stock. I'm kind of funny because generally I run my QDs on the right side, so when I'm carrying the gun like this, the, the sling is here, it keeps the gun tight against my body. If I put the sling over here, it kind of wants to hang like this. Or if I put the front sling up here, it kind of wants to hang like this, which then you're constantly trying to hold it up. So it'd be interesting to see that on the other side. Not sure why it's not there. But other than that, the wood is absolutely beautiful. The grain on it's absolutely stunning and it's, it's nice. Now, every shotgun is going to be slightly different. So the fitment of the wood to the metal right here uh, may not be perfect because, you know, Remington's going to have a little bit of variances back there and Wooks is. So these stocks weren't manufactured on the gun, but still, the fitment feels pretty darn good to me. Coming out here to the front end, we have a smooth handguard. Now, I'm not sure, I, I've gotten onto their website and this was sent to me by Wooks to take a look at, but there's no texturing here. And that is a problem for me. This is way too slick. But if I get on the website and look at the same handguard with the M-lock rail inserts, it has this type of texturing and it says Wooks along here. So maybe this is just a pre-production sample or maybe they do offer it with the slick 
handguard like this, I would recommend getting the textured version or maybe even putting some, you know, like skateboard tape or something like that out there to get a little bit more traction because this with wet, slippery hands, if it was hot and humid or you're just working in a moisture rich environment uh, somewhere near water, you might have a little bit of trouble with your hand slipping off. But the M-Lock attachment points out here, kind of nice, right? We're, we're doing this to all sorts of firearms, modernizing them, uh, making them a little bit more tactical. Lever actions are getting that treatment as of late. So that on a shotgun actually makes sense. Now putting a light or something out here would be pretty darn nice. There's options for mounting to the tubes and things like that for lights. But one thing that uh, is missing from the front here, at least on the setup that we have, is a QD sling mount to go with the one back here. Now, would I put one on one of these M locks? Probably not. I don't want my sling attached to the pump. That might get a little bit awkward and might induce malfunctions. So you're dealing with this old school sling mount up here, unless I could find some other solution, which I'm sure there's one out there. So I wouldn't put the sling up front. But lights and all that stuff, absolutely. Good spot for it, probably makes a little bit more sense than maybe mounting it to the underbarrel uh, or the, the magazine tube. So pump action shotgun, let's do a little shooting with this bad boy. Looks like they're still using the, the polymer trigger housing down here, my very early 870 that's parkerized, which like this one is, uh, is aluminum, I believe, but the polymer shouldn't be a problem. All right, let's do a little bit of shooting with this bad boy. So, yes, that front hand guard is way too slick. Uh, it, it's about 41 degrees out here right now, and uh, my hands are not wet, but I kept finding my hand wanting to slide back every time I re reach the rear of the, the pump stroke and then moving it forward. So I would um, definitely would like to see that texturing. So if you're going to order one, make sure you get the one with the texturing. If not, add a little extra texturing out there. So the price on something like this, what does it cost? Not the gun, not really talking about the gun in today's video. You're looking at, well, probably like 200 and some odd bucks, 249 bucks or so for the butt stock that you might pick, maybe 129 bucks or so for the hand guard. So for the entire kit, you're under 500 bucks. And is it an improvement to the appearance of the shotgun? Yeah, let's do a little bit more shooting with it though. Uh, the only thing so far that I would change is, uh, is the lack of texturing right out here on the, the pump. Here we go. It's pretty close to center of mass, kind of here. I'm just having to aim over his head. Not too bad. All right. So, yep. I think maybe where I was running into some problems is the fact that I was having some issues with how slick this is. I do keep finding my hands coming back sharply hitting here, coming up hitting this dished out area there. So, um, yeah. A little bit of traction right there would remedy all that. Now, you cannot say that these stocks are ugly. They are not. These are good looking stocks. Totally changes the appearance of the, uh, of the 870. And again, they are available for different types of shotguns. So swing by, check out what shotguns they have these stocks for if you're interested in them. And uh, yeah, you can tactical out your shotgun, but still keep that classic wood look. If you guys have any questions about the Wooks stock, you can ask those questions down below. I try to stick around for the first couple of days after a video goes live to answer the questions you guys may have. If you'd like to support us here, the best way to do that is to become part of our Patreon family. There's a link in the video description below. Also right here on YouTube, you got the join and thanks button underneath the video player you're watching right now. Mash either one of those buttons. You can help support us right here on YouTube in the age of demonetization. Please swing by and check out Copper Custom. Thank you for 16 years of support. We'll talk to you guys soon.